Beachy did. And I got to say, Tiger played Mirage really damn well. That's why they ended up here. It was a slow series that they got here. Now, when did we start this? We started this game at 11.30 my time. It's currently 2.30. So we've been here for three hours over two maps. Close to. These players have got to be getting tired. I mean, it's tiring casting. It's tiring watching for that long. Can you imagine playing? In, especially in such a high octane, really important game. It's got to be stressful. There's the knife round going down right in front of your eyes. And you can see Tiger win it. So they get to choose which side they want to start on. Even more of an advantage coming in off that big win. The thing is, what side do they want to choose? And I and I couldn't tell you. I mean, T side's going to be frustrating. I would guess CT. Oh, well, yeah. I guess wrong, apparently. Ooh, okay. So it's very rare that teams pick the T side on Inferno. I remember talking with Finn from Gambit Youngsters about this, and he said that you know, the, the majority of the time, if they get a chance to, they'll pick the T side. You get to set the pace, get in... Yeah, this is a CIS team, remember. But set the pace, get in your opponent's face if you want, and if you can crush somebody on the CT side, they're never going to be able to say, hey, it's okay, we're going to T side now. It's like you get the hardest part out of the way, and you know what you need to do then coming into the easier side. That's how they'll reproach a dust two. Sometimes even the likes of a nuke with a mirage definitely overpass from time to time. Inferno is one of the maps he said that they never do it on, really. You're going to want to start in the CT side because it's a map that allows you to lock out your opponents. If you play this side right, you can get a very dominant scoreline up. And yes, 11-4 might be a misleading scoreline, but your opponents won't be thinking, hey, I, I bet we'll come back into it. It's always going to put a little bit of doubt in their mind. So Tiger have taken a very brave play by taking this. And you can see they've got direction coming into this round with two sets of utility and full banana control for them to start it off. He comes in. Does it really connect? And uh, Tiger. They get the full wipe on two, the two players there. Advent will still be here, however. The smoke has come in to maybe repel this attack. But as we can see, it's still going to keep coming. Flash being thrown in and Advent completely flashed out. He's going to back away. To play with the retake with his teammates they're gonna be up against the four players of tiger and it's already hard enough to retake the side alone but to retake it with a man disadvantage Jose's gonna throw in a smoke very deep here trying to use the cover kind of snake across in towards the site joking just waiting for his chance to push up there's actually no one towards banana if anything i think they're gonna push in towards construction except three players towards cough inside air cast just trying to stay alive and well yeah with the kills coming through, Joking not able to respond. Tiger will get the round, and they'll get a quad kill, and they'll only lose one player, and that was onto the initial entry. Not too bad, is it? I mean, they lost that player for banana control, swinging up around that wall. I mean, you expect to lose more than that, really. And there you go. The trades came back immediately. NCL off to a flying start. Got himself on a 3k to close that. Did he find the last? Oh, he did. Fantastic. 1-0 with lots of money stacked up on NCL. And he takes the MAC-10 to start off. I'm guessing he dropped over uh, the AK to what his teammate, considering the money he would have had. Maybe the stacked one. And straight down the bottom of middle they go. But unfortunately, straight down is exactly the description used for the players that ran down there. And as there, you're either dying or very close to dead immediately. Very little return for it, NCL, and her cast below 50 HP. But when the push comes through to the A-bomb site, there's going to be a lot of pressure in towards Jam, Young, and Kaze. Kaze, remember, coming off the worst map in literally, literally five years. It might sound like an exaggeration, but his worst map played in five years since they played against Tyloo way back then. I mean, that's kind of his fault for playing so consistently well for five years of time, right? <laughs> exactly. He always played bad, you know. You'll never have a stat like that come out. That's your strat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You know, more more like that was his highest rating he's ever had in five years. Now that's that's my jam. <laughs> Speaking of Jam Young, oh, <laughs> he tries to get the reload in time. He gets the one kill, but it's still going all the way of Tiger. This is gonna be a, still yet another clean round for them. Okay, I'm just gonna save the Kevlar and helmet, and the five seven Tiger will get their first two zero start here. Two kills coming in on the SMG nine. Some money being built up, but I am happy to see that. We're not seeing Tiger slow things down to a crawling pace like what happened on Mirage. Yeah, those 20 second left pushes were 
a little bit wild. And the thing is, you see those a lot. Uh, well, maybe you don't see them a lot, but when you do see them, teams often get punished for it because they're going in last second. They make a lot of mistakes. They end up having to take one too many fights. The bomb can't get planted. And the Tiger were just so clean every single time they went for it. Matter of fact, I, I know what happened on Nuke, but on Mirage, I'm struggling to remember a round where they lost because they didn't have time to plant. Did that did that happen at all? I don't think so. Mm. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I don't know. We've had a lot of a lot of rounds today. Well it's, true. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. We we did have a three mapper with D13 against Bren, and we even had an overtime on Nuke. Yeah, it's true. Hard I mean, to remember at that stage. Blend Dinka must be just exhausted. Oh, absolutely. Don't worry. We're, we'll get them next week. <laughs> well, a little bit of a scary moment there. Altov's thrown in to clear out the angles. Again, being very, very cautious about this. I mean, with two SMGs, send them in first. A real chance to, to get the economy oh. stable and that double nade onto Jam Young. Doesn't even see it coming. Yeah. I like the plays. We haven't really seen those, like too many double nades, actually. I saw a ton of those in Road to Rio. Man, I remember a half on the CT side of Inferno by Big in Road to Rio. They did 1,400 damage in a half. With nades, sorry. With nades alone. Like, that's insane. I love the utility damage. They got so many. I think they got 10 kills with nades or somewhere close to that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, that's 14 kills worth of 100 to 0. It was full dead by a frag. And it was banana mostly where they were pulling that through. But, mm. you know, high level utility usage isn't something I've come to expect in this region. I, I don't think there's been any team beyond were the only ones that gonna looked like it was possible. Looked like they were gonna be the saviors when it came down to the, the util, but they proved in the previous series that maybe that was just a fluke. Oh, for Kaze. Hasn't bounced back from the last map just yet at 0 and 3, but this is going to be the first gun round coming in. The bonus round going for Tiger. Dobu and I going to keep the Mac 10s. I wouldn't be surprised to see some quick play. And Vichy actually going for a timeout here in the last few seconds of freeze time. I wonder if they will rush somewhere. Or if they'll just play more of a support role for the team in this round. Really get a lot of extra bucks piled up. Kind of a shame. You know, I talked before about on Nuke when Vichy, they were down, was it like 4-0, then they won seven rounds straight? It was eight rounds. I, I My memory's going. It's been a long week. But the fact is, they were able to just, you know, flip something over, flip something internally within them. And just pick up round after round after round. I wonder if they're going to have that effect when it comes to Inferno. I mean, with 92% win rate, they should. They should be the team to beat. Do you usually be the favorites? I don't say many death threats, people. <laughs> yeah, no, for... Like, look, Vichy should have been the favorites in the series. I think things have definitely flipped into Tiger's favor. Uh, with Kaze's poor performance, to say the least. I like that. Little boost up into apartments so you don't need to make noise running across. That is smart. You, you do not see that every day. Now they've managed to sneak into Boiler. Soaking. He's ready for it. He's seen the nades come out. One, two, maybe even a third for him. Yes. That was Jam Young that took it, stole it away. But either way, I think you're going to be pretty happy with that. A three versus one. Urk has heard the steps, of course. He knows that Almond's at that wall, but he's missed the shot through the smoke, and that might cost him his life. As the smoke is thrown out, they know where he is. Kaze coming through the smoke, shift walking. What are we doing? Throwing it away. Oh man, why? One at a time through a smoke? Are you mad? I mean, the guy that was on the left side had 22 health left. Alman almost died there. If that was just a quick spray transfer to the left, the round was over. That was so just stupid, really. 
Why would you do that? And look, like, look at this when we get to it. So Almond, 22 health. He manages to sit on the edge of the smoke successfully, but literally one bullet. It's all that was needed. One quick flick to the left after that second kill and Urkast won a 1v3 because Vici decided, hey, there's barely any time. There's like 40 seconds left. He hasn't got bombed. Let me just rush through the smoke at him. I don't know. That's that's not the round win that you need to really uh, show that you're going to win, <laughs> you know, win this map. Mm -hmm. you know, how, many how many more times are you going to do that and get away with it? Doesn't spark much confidence. No, definitely not. What do you think of this, though? I've been left to his own. Towards B, a deep molly coming through. You can have a nade to follow up with momentarily, I would imagine. He's pretty much the utility file coming in for Vici in this round. Just hoping they don't go in this direction. And hey, it might have worked out for him, actually. We start to back off, and he still has a smoke in hand. Just going to continue to shoulder peek. And in the meantime, Tar going to head towards the A site. Kaze going to go for the peek in towards middle. Gets the kill at his first of the game. However, Jam Young's going to fall. And we talked about Kaze being so fixed in his positions on Mirage. He switched things up. They're losing players one by one over towards the site. Kaze gets dinked. Still has a safety, still has the AWP. But he doesn't have a teammate. This is going to be difficult. Like, the, spamming through the box even takes him down. And so Advent's now in a 1v3. And, well, we know how Advent feels about going for clutches. And you can see it here. He ain't he ain't doing it. Yeah, you know, I was doing some work for... Uh, some analyst work for one of the teams in the EU. And we were looking at Inferno. And it was really... Really shocking to see how frequently both their opponents and they themselves took those kind of holds. Solo holding CT, or even worse than that, was holding... You see when you push up banana to the to the car, right? And usually people will either jump spot the wall or shoulder peek that corner. So you can play there, right? Or you can go slightly more passive and play on the first corner. So just below where Advent currently is on the, on the radar, that little corner. You can shoulder peek that with a Molotov in hand, wait for them to come, and as soon as you spot them, drop the molly, run away. What was surprising is some players even play in the middle ground of that. So you don't see them until they come around the corner, at which point they will trade you, and you're solo, so you will not have any reinforcements, and you'll lose B, and you get one-for-one one trade. It's like that's pretty much the only way that should go unless they make huge mistakes on your opponent's side. And often they'll even flash around the corner, so you're doubly screwed because you probably won't even get a kill. Um... But the percentage, once you play passive solo, the chances of you winning the round if they do go B are insanely low. Because that player, 99% of the time, is either going to get no kills or one kill. The chances of, unless it's maybe attacker, chances of them getting like two, three kills from that position are very low. And it will only happen if they make mistakes. And it, Look, if you're the type of team that wants to rely on your opponents, mm -hmm. having terrible spacing, not flashing in, stuff like that, good luck to you. You're never going to make top 30. So, these are the kind of things that that you see consistently being pulled out by some players. I just don't understand how, because they've surely done it enough times to realize, hey, more often than not, if they do push B, this hold doesn't work. So why are you still doing it? Ain't Tiger going to be happy about it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take it. Hey, give us rounds. Give us more. I mean, the sad thing is they had the one-man B hold and they still lost A. So that's that's an even worse sign in a way. Thing is, though, for Vici, they, they are already qualified to the playoffs. So this isn't yep. as important of a match as it is for Tiger. And Tiger is still... They, they should be safe. They just have to pick up, like, what? One more win over the course of all their matches. I think seeding is going to be a major factor. Even for Vici, you want to avoid Tai Lu. I don't think Vici is going to fall to 8th rank. Do you want to stay on the opposite side of Tai Lu, if it's possible? Because they always seem to be your kryptonite. <clears throat> okay, sorry. I thought that was I thought that was Dobu who got that kill just randomly spraying through a smoke. Yeah, I think we would have had to ban him for that, but luckily, it was not. So there's only a couple pistols left. Uh oh, Aze. That should be Aze. Go to the site. Def okay, never mind. They're still watching. Oh, I'm sorry. I jumped the gun a little seconds bit. Left anyways. Oh, there's an AWP for him at least. You can just tuck in sandbags and save it, right? Even without armor, he should be all right. They're going to come hunt him. 
Yeah, they're already on their way. First around the corner already. Good shot by Kaze. Holding for a little bit more. One second left. They can't hit the shot. Cabal shuts him down. Now he's done good damage. Okay. But not being able to save the AWP definitely hurts. What's even worse is that that's two kills he's found on the back of um, the exits, right? So in terms of actual impact on rounds, considering they've been A-stacked, I'm not looking at Advent. I know he's got zero kills. He's been holding B, some often solo holding B. Can't really trash talk him. But in the buy round that they lost, those players on A didn't perform this for sure. They got absolutely torn apart. And this is another chance for them to redeem themselves. Kaze's gone for the heavy investment into the AWP. The rest of the team on M4 is a super passive hold in towards Banana. And it's understandable in a round like this, they have got very limited utility. They didn't have a molly to stop any early pushes, so they would have had to rely on heads-up aim deals, which, considering how important B is, it's definitely not worth risking that. And with Advent, obviously, being there as well, it's not like... It, and I don't say that in the heavily insulting i just mean that if your igl and it's not a fragging igl is securing a map a part of the map like b you're not going to play as aggressive as let's say if it was you know two very strong riflers that were over towards that side of the map or if you go to tyloo like a dan king and an attacker if they're playing b oh they're going to go aggressive they're going to take that control they're going to make you fight for it but almond and advent i think they're more like uh advent plays support on the site almond tries to get some uh get the kills as they push I wonder if this is gonna like, continue to hurt the region in general because we don't see any fragging in-game leaders really. Oh, you actually point a second. It's Advent in the meantime. Just pick himself wow. up two kills. They run through a smoke. Not checking all the angles and Nalman's gonna close out the second. Actually, it's Advent to get the last. Nine's left alone against five and he's just gonna run away to save. They're they're not really stable in money. Eric Castle and Cabal over 9k. Nine on 1600. So back to the point of I wonder if we're, we're ever going to see that transition because I think we've seen that already happen in Europe and North America. And look at complexity, blame F. He, he basically does it all. He, he he tops the kill board, he in games leads. And we don't really see too often teams be satisfied with having that in game leader just consistently bottom fragging. I mean, you were saying before when NIP were on their 86 game win streak, Exist would be on the bottom of the table or, or fifth Laren or whatever. But it wouldn't be a big deal because they were still winning games. That doesn't seem to be the, the go-to anymore. It's like the evolution of Counter-Strike, right? You end up in a spot where more and more is going to be expected. It happens in every sport. Now that I'm trying to think of it, I can't think of any examples, but there's definitely, you know, historically roles that you wouldn't be expected to perform that now you are. I mean, even look at the... The 100 meter sprints, you know, the times for those has gone up massively in recent memory. Like, the record stayed pretty much the same for 100 years, or like it got changed by fractions of seconds. Same thing with the quality of like oh, the soccer players around or anything. It. Exactly, yeah, they started to actually get very much uh, more strategic about it. Dobas just come through with two openings on short, and we didn't see that, but. It was Jam Young that shut down. Urkast through the smoke. Oh my god. Fades through to get Kaze. Sprays back for Zoking. And a 1v3. Advance, well, 1v4, I guess, but he's already dealt with Urkast. Advance, probably not going to be going for this. Doesn't strike me as the kind of player that usually hits these and with an op on the floor. He's definitely saving. Yeah, another individual moment. Aircast gets two. He's only up to eight, but two's enough for them to win the round. And Jam Young, like, for, like when thinking about Vici on this map, one thing I always think about is how well he plays the pit position. It's not it's not always him getting kills. It's not like Brolin where, you know, he's this immovable object. It's more of he's just so good at staying alive and just keeping that threat. You know, keeping the, the pressure of him being in that position that you have to either clear him out multiple players, but he has rotations coming in to help him from his team anyways. Or he just delays even further. And then on the retake, he really shines. But more of an aggressive hold out of him this time. And you can see how yeah, just the turnaround, the 180. This was more of a 90 degree angle switch. I'm a little bit worried, though. If Ichi can't stop losing rounds, they're going to switch up to a double op setup. And the pace that Tiger might be playing at, I don't know if that's necessarily going to work.
Oh, I mean, we saw it just earlier on Inferno, right? CT side double off setups, but definitely with the way Tiger are playing, this slow start, then explosive attacks, that's not going to help out if you've got a double off, unless you use it very, very aggressively. In these first, like, 40, 50 seconds of the round. Tiger already giving up control towards Banana after losing the opening duel to Almon. Now fully focusing towards the A side, I was going to say. I thought NCL was rotating through second mid to bring that bomb to the A players, but he's actually staying passive down on the bottom of the ramp. So there's a decent chance that they actually do still go towards the B side, just very much delayed, trying to fake out A for now. But a flash over Banana is being heard by that side player, so there's no way they'll rotate. Gosh, Dobu really wants to clear those angles out. I think though with Tiger already losing one player, this is definitely going to drag up the time as long as they possibly can. Deep smoke in towards library. While looking to come out of apartments, but he's still going to have to deal with Jam Young and Pit. Even joking, inside of sight. Not to mention Kaze with the op, and yet... Yeah. Not looking in the right position. Joking playing this perfectly. This is as clean as it gets. Nine the last up. 19 seconds left. He's just going to save the WP. So Tiger, you know, a round loss, a round win, a round loss. Starting to bounce back and forth. And we're not seeing as many streaky rounds like I was talking about in some of our earlier maps. Well, the last time these guys played um, on this map... We're talking two months ago at this stage, or close to a month and a half. Uh, Tiger only found five rounds on the CT side. So a good T side is very much expected of them. They'll need to bring it up to probably double digits before we can feel decent about their ability from what we saw mm. before. And, you know, it, it did play out very much the same on Mirage. When it came down to second half, their CT side was solid. The flash over mid, the communication was a little bit delayed there, but Kaze will get it eventually. Um, second round in a row, they try for that banana aggression. It's just not working. AWP picking him off this time. With Vici on the man disadvantage, it's only advent towards the B site. I'm surprised. They should know at this point that it's advent there. And so I would expect a much faster push in from them. Chances they stacking around like this are quite low. And Advent is always on B. And he's also saved, what, twice so far? When they hit the A site. So you know he's the anchor. And nothing against Advent, but he's typically not the top fragger for Vici. You just wait, Mitch. <laughs> you just wait. Here's the ace. Flashed up. Couple of shots right off towards Dark. I don't know if they actually spotted him out. They did, yeah. Okay. Well... Doesn't matter, he gets the one kill at least. Adobe getting low on HP, down to 12. Oh, I'm gonna go down, Jokey now, looking on the retake, gets the kill on Adobu, and he creates another avenue to hit with their angle. Tiger to have to hold as the other two players are gonna come in from CT. NCL. Gonna get down towards pool as Sierra gonna be thrown in towards new box. Flashbang over, and so, are you actually gonna push into this? Or is he gonna try to catch him? Are they trying to come through the smoke and. Wrap around, joking. He gets around the side. He's gonna drop though to Cabal and NCL. He does get that first kill on a Jam Young. That cause they left alone against two. He's just gotta run. He needs to save. And Tiger now gonna be able to put up a seventh. Uh oh, Cabal. Oh, itch. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> we talk about it a lot. That's how it works. By the way, I don't know if you saw that um, Big are in the final of CS Summit over in the other RMR. Managed to make it there versus Vitality. Pretty impressive stuff. They've had just an absolutely wacky time recently. I didn't really get to see any of those games. I'm a little bit too busy this week. Plus, I love sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I've watched back a couple. I'm playing pretty damn well. Is that when you were Dobu. playing uh, Detroit Become Human at the same time? 
No, I was, uh, was playing. No, I can't say what I was playing. I was playing a different game. <laughs> Is this some like. Never mind. Yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> Doki Doki or something. Oh, God, no. What? <laughs> What's wrong with you? I know you're, um, you're deep down a weed. No. Jesus. All I've. Uh, love a bit of Avatar, though. Last Airbender. Yeah, five versus three. Tiger moving in towards the B site. They're going to be able to get that bomb down pretty much for free. Dobu's doing a really good job with the Mac 10. Grabbing the, uh, grabbing the opening towards the A site. Drag the rotates. Advent's now locked out of his own bomb site. And evidently, he feels locked out because he's just going to go for the save. Waiting for the next round to get back into things. And we said Tiger needed to hit up nine or ten rounds. Well, they're, they're already pretty damn close. Yeah, they're one away. Or two away. I mean, they're forcing Vici to save so often. It, I feel like it's a relatively low kill game, actually. Because we've seen so many saves, you know? For an 8-3 mm -hmm. scoreline. For their top fragger to have, you know, around 10 kills, maybe just slightly under. And HLTV is going to be delayed to what we're seeing. That's pretty ridiculous. It's like, because they keep going towards B, they haven't really had the opportunity for Vichy to play for that retake. Well, son of Jay, you ready for what's coming into the 12th round? We're going to be looking at Vichy. On a nice little pistol buy around those rifles. A timeout called. I don't... I mean... I hope they're not considering full investments. Advent. Zoking. Drop over for mass each. Almond maybe buys an M4. Utility would be alright. Zoking stopped buying Utility at 2.2k. So they're definitely discussing the FAMAS buy. I wonder. I, on a map like Inferno, as we said before, force buys happen quite a lot. They find success quite a lot. So many little crevices to hide in. Take your fights. Just close range map in general. Lots of positions to set up crossfires, but I think they've made the right call. I'd rather wait. Pull out the AWP. Like, conceding a ninth round sucks, but, but sometimes it's essential. Kazakh's only got five kills. Yeah. Yeah, That's just... CT side opping as well. Like yeah. it's T side op opping on this map is not fun. Like I'd understand same for the op if he was being that important, getting mm -hmm. that many kills. But yeah, it's been a rough series for Kaze. Well, it's the rough two maps. And again, heading back towards the B site. Even Cabal to watch any sort of aggression from alt mid. And smoke's being thrown in. Molotov's flashes. They might not expect Avin boosted up. And there's a chance we're going to get quite a few kills. Or get absolutely nothing against the MAC-10. Now they start to back away. Rotations have come through. So it's a 2-2 split. Keeping Vichy really on their toes now. And all they lost was a MAC-10. So it's really not that big of a deal. Oh. Oh. Is he going to push it? Should be a flash over. Oh, no. Jamming doesn't have one. I, d I don't know if that was a wise decision. Jam Young, He's going to go out. He's got one with the Deagle. Here's the player up close as well. No Zerkas is around. We spotted him. Now, so he definitely does know, but not hitting the shot. I don't know if that was a wise choice to stand in the smoke. Maybe if you've got a pistol, sure. Try a risky play like that. But one of the only rifles... Seems like you're throwing it away. Maybe he was asking for a flash and then didn't realize his teammate didn't have one or something like that, but... I, I think know. maybe it's also maybe hoping they push past him. True, true. But I, you can't really depend on it. I mean, you're, you're expecting an enemy team to push a smoke. I mean, again, if it works, he's a genius. If it fails, we're just like, what were you doing? But this is still going to be nine rounds for Tiger. 
9 on 9 kills. Or sorry, 10 kills. All on 9. Nobu's only on 4. So he's yet to really be unlocked when it comes to this map. And yet, there's still 29 3. So it's all really coming down to, I guess, 9 on his op. Aircast on 9 kills. I'm a little bit scared for when, when Dobu starts to step up on the CT side. It's not me, it's the mouse. 85.6% of wasted bullets. Alright. <laughs> I like that. I like that. New sensitivity. Um, yeah, I mean, look, you know, on the T side, lots of spamming goes down, so it's acceptable. When you look towards Vici at the moment, three rounds on the board's not good enough. They, man, even five rounds. It's just not going to cut it, is it? Mm hmm. The Tiger is showing up right now. Urcast is on fire. The whole team, though, really performing here on Inferno. And if, if that's the case, you can imagine the result will be better than what we saw last time these two teams faced, which, as I said, we found a pretty good scoreline for Tiger when it came down to the uh, T side of eight, but their CT only had five rounds. But look, if they finish on double digits, that's already enough to guarantee an OT. And you'd imagine they will play even better because they're playing even better. Hmm. Yes, that does make sense. <laughs> it would go even better because they are playing even better. I can there we go. 300 IQ. Well, again, Tiger taking us down to the last seconds. A little bit of fake trying to be sold by Dobu over towards A. So it's going to keep at least Vici honest, the three players there. For Advent and Almond, they're like, oh, B again? Guys, there's another bomb site, please. Folks come in, she's gonna keep tapping through. Next round to NCL, and Advent's just gonna fall immediately. Dobu gets the kill. And they're gonna take this entire site. And look, NCL and Dobu are so down low. This could definitely work out for the CTs. On the retake, spam down. Nines on 26 HP as well. If Vici commit to this, they could find a very easy retake with just a few well-placed shots. There's one. Zoking taking down Dobu. Time's low, though. 15 seconds. They've got to go for it. Nine from the back. Able to get some damage done. And they know exactly where he is. He's so low, but he just runs down that clock. And there you... <gasps> Do they have it? Oh, they don't think so. I think they might have. They, they barely had it. I think they had it by point one of a second. Oh, man. that's I, I don't know if this is possible. I might be asking too much. But if we can get a replay of that or just like a screenshot of the time left on the diffuser, because we had it down to obviously point zero zero zero, but they moved so fast, it's hard to see. But it looked to me like they were point one or a, a little bit ahead at least. Damn. End to three. But he can't really knock the way Tiger. Oh, Advent is going to push through. And he's going to die. I don't think he even got a single point of damage done. So it'll be a one for one trade. And they're actually going to go for the stack. Kaze is going to be here. To try to play the op. Smoke does fade. Aircast can be waiting with the op in his hands. And he gets the connection. It's the headshot. That's all, man. Will they expect Kaze to be here? And I would assume so, considering how aggressive they're being towards Banana. Now with the flash being, being thrown in, they're going to know the third. It's still going to be down to the three-on-three. -three. Aircast are very low in health. It's just been such an insanely impressive T side for Tiger so far. Winning out so many of these rounds, even the last against all odds, with the low health that they had. So Urkast, slow HP combined with the AWP, and I feel like I've got faith in it. Smoke down towards the arch. This is looking like it'll be a B hit, at least that's exactly what they want Vici to think. As they move quickly into B, Kaze is making that call. He's hearing the steps, the utility's over, he's got to hit the shots, misses the flick. Kaze really not on form today. Not even, not even today, just this and the last map. These last two have been very rough for him. 
And we're going to see most likely another round for Tiger. I mean, they're just anchored down with Urcast scoped in on the AWP and looking for them coming up banana. That should be a free kill. There's a flash in play. It goes over. Doesn't blind Urcast. That's his shot and his kill. And then Jamion goes for the save. Fiji, what is happening? I mean, if we were to look at this, and it's obviously like a kind of a cop-out question to ask. Is this Tiger playing exceptionally well? Or is Avicii just not performing? And I, and I, I almost want to say, I, I'm pretty confident in saying it's, it's the second one. Advin and Ahmed are, are struggling so hard at the B site. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I, see, I don't, I don't think Vichy have this problem regularly. This is the thing that that's throwing me off here. I mean, they've did they destroyed Invictus on this map and Bren. Invictus consistently two out of two the last times. This is one of the few maps where they've beaten Tylu three out of four times they've played it, and yet versus Tiger, not only are they losing. They're getting stomped. I mean, this this is ridiculous. I know I said that there was a possibility Tiger would show up, but I'm thinking even if they win this map, it's it's you know 16-12, 16-10, somewhere like it's got to be no even closer 16-12, 16-13, or an OT. And yet we're ending up in a position where, with the rounds they've built up, if they win the pistol, they basically won the map already and the series. We well, you know what's gonna happen, right, Mitch? OT. <laughs> All the rounds. Yeah, it'll be 15, 15 5, and then it'll go all the way to 16 14. Please, no. <laughs> it's describing your worst nightmare. It's the worst nightmare for players as well. Like, imagine clutching it all the way back, getting nine rounds in a row or something like that. You're like, all right, this is it, we got it, and then you lose. Imagine just getting to like 15-14 and you lose the last round after coming back from being 12-3 you know, yeah. down. I think that would hurt the most. Oh, push coming towards A. Gonna look to overwhelm this. And well, all minute, it doesn't seem like whatever site he goes to, they're always going to be coming for him. Oh, man. And that's a clean take. That's a clean 12-3. <laughs> no way. I'm not even going to say there's a chance. Look how quickly they got the site and yet they planted with 10 seconds left. That's just... They, sh they like they shouldn't be able to win these rounds. They're running like they're going so late. The Vici are just as, okay, as soon Mitch, as they push okay. forward. Read. As soon as they push forward, it's like Vici just lie on the ground. You know, when they get scared, they just freeze up and fall over and play dead. <laughs> exactly. And literally, it's like they're just saying, "Please, sir, make it quick. I I accept death. I forfeit." It's just no fight left in them. And where's, where's Kaze at coming into this half? Into the end of this. Just waiting to see his kills. He was on... He was 8 and 9, I think, a couple oh, he rounds was, back. Yeah, he was leading the team after 14 rounds. There was 9 there, I think I saw. That's quite unfortunate. I mean, yeah, Kaze's not playing terribly. Considering it's Inferno especially. But this... I mean, I, I couldn't describe what the idea behind the defense there for Vici was. They're either playing it in a completely bizarre manner, or even that first buy round, I think, set the pace, or one of the first two, where Advent was so low B, they have a four-man stack on the A site, and yet he's in like a 1v3 retake. All of a sudden. There's an opening duel for the T side, but while the flash is a bit useless there, and CL, everyone's dead. And he's just giving away his position, giving away that he's here. And most likely he's going to be dying on this one. This is it, Mitch. It's the start of the comeback. If Tyler win this round now, I think... Or Tyler... Yeah, I was going to say, it'd be me. pretty amazing if uh, Tyler won this one. <laughs> oh, my... No, oh, no, my, no, 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 no. Please make it stop. Cabal's got a 1v2. He's already got two kills, 42 health. He can't win this. He can't. Okay. Thank you. So Vici got the first round on the board, 
more rounds coming into this one than they did before. Fair play. Now all they've got to do is find a hell of a lot more. What if they do come back though? I think that would be, yeah, that would be, I don't know if there's a word for what I want to describe. I know I definitely don't have it in my uh, mental dictionary. An upset, I'd say. It's the, maybe the best way to put it. You're going to 12 3 up for Tiger. Going with the pistol on him. You know, I'm going to get a little bit ahead of myself. It's going to be the force up, though, out of Tiger this round. Got the scout, two deagles, a CZ. If I remember speaking to a friend of mine who's Ukrainian, she was saying, um, obviously she speaks mostly Russian. She was saying how in English she hates the language because she can barely express herself. Mm. Um, because like in Russian they have like 50 different ways to say love, for example. There's like part, like love between partners, love between family, love between this, that, the other. It's just like a load of different words and we just have love. Was there, is there a way to say in Russian between like a love between you and food? Is that, is that like a different word? I, I genuinely think there is. I think there is. I'm surprised I didn't ask that at the time. That should have been my number one question. <laughs> Why? Because of... Uh, oh no, what's it called? Napoleon cake? Napoleon? Ukraine Neopolitan? for the first time. No, no, no. no. It's it Napoleon? called Napoleon cake. It's, it's god tier. It's the best cake of all time. So good. Myself and Dinko were just inhaling it. That does look pretty, pretty nice. It does, doesn't it? That doesn't look nice though. As Erica tries to push in, the CZ shots missing out of NCL. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Staring at Napoleon cake now, getting hungry. I'm getting hungry now. God damn it! That's gorgeous. The thing is, it's like it's like an ice cream almost in between it. Okay, ice or, cream cake ice is cream. the S tier cake. Yeah, I will, oh, I will yeah, literally fight anyone that disagrees. You go to Florida, you go to uh, you get Captain Jack's Robbins. ice cream cake. What? In, uh, no, it's in... Oh, what's it called? First of all, I don't want to go to Florida, especially with coronavirus right now. <laughs> well, in a few years, if Florida still exists... Um... I'm pretty sure that's where the zombie apocalypse is going to break out, if there ever is one. <laughs> yeah, more than likely. It would be fair. You know, there's a there's a, a phenomenon called the Florida Man phenomenon. Oh yeah, of course. You heard of that? Yeah. Because yeah. of the laws. Have you ever looked up on your birthday what happened? What Florida Man incident? <laughs> no. Just try that out. Uh, do you, you know it's it's because of the laws, right? Do you, do you hear that before? No. But like, uh, so it's much easier to in Florida for some reason more so than any other state um, in America. It's easier for journalists to access uh, uh, data of ongoing investigations and arrests than any other state. So they can, but like, it's not like it happens more necessarily there. It's just that they can just look up on their computer what happened here right. and write a story about it straight away. Whereas the other ones need to request access and it has to go through sensitivity and all. Florida like, yeah, yeah. If you tried to do it with an alligator, we're gonna, we're gonna tell every journalist about it right away. Screw your privacy. So that's why that exists. Pretty interesting. Look it up for me in a minute once we're done with this. Oh, God. <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> I don't want to repeat it. NCL. All right, so kill with the P250. The Deagle coming through out of Aircast. Again, it's a force up in another round. Aircast is just going to be a... Uh, well, the nade actually completely misses him. Will eventually be overrun. Scout shots out of nine. Getting actually really close to connecting. The bomb will go down. We're playing with a three on four. I mean, get a couple of kills here. That's the best they can hope for. I mean, they're able to get into the site, but finding kills would be a lot more difficult. Oh, nicely handled. I mean, Kaze swings for one just after Jam Young as well. There's no trades possible for the CD side with that. Cabal, don't you do this. Don't you. It's a 10 second ninja, so we can't do it anyways. Just notice he hasn't got a kit. So it's time to run. Galil in hand. Yeah, for, for me, I just looked it up, Jason. Someone got decapitated by a helicopter. So. That's interesting. I don't know how. The blades are pretty high up. 
the thing. Everyone always ducks on the way into a helicopter. I just walk. Wow. Well, the one I just saw was really sad. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. When I first searched it, uh, Florida Man 62 strips perform strange dance at McDonald's. <laughs> That was in 2019. A 62-year-old man. Uh, I got one Florida man choose a police car seat after cocaine arrest. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm I'm okay to drive officer while chewing his chair. <laughs> oh god. Yes, yeah, so it's an interesting phenomenon. You can look it up. Florida man, and then your data, you're like, I don't know, March 5th or whatever, and you'll, um, you'll find out what a Florida man did on your birthday. <laughs> it's a lottery. Well, the lottery at the moment for Vici is whether they can win these rounds or not. They're taking a big gamble in every single round they go for because the lot is on the line. They don't know if it'll work out. Trying to minimize the risk they're taking by going for some really map control. That smoke on top of banana is actually really nice. It's going to keep them back. The spams kind of give away no one's up close. The tiger aren't getting baited in, just oh, in case no. someone's uh, waiting to, to play them. Nine with the opening, they fall back, they can play pit. No, that's an aggressive stance by Nine. He's going all the way around the corner, it wasn't expected, has to get to sight! He's being pursued, and on five HPs, oh, oh that nade soaking, no! That possibly would have been the kill, I don't think so. No, I think it would have gotten too, around. Too shallow. But anyways, Ooh. he whiffed it. The flashbang comes through, Dobo gonna retreat back to graveyard, he's gonna have a mayor, a man. A man inside of a <laughs> They're gonna push in towards B. And Shell's gonna back off and send here to buy some more time. 20 seconds left to go. And they don't have a smoke. Oh, well, the smoke's already been thrown down. They have to push straight through the smoke, but they get the kill in the air cast. He's gonna fall. 13 seconds, then you get the bomb planted. And NCL, he might just be able to play the time on this one. Peeks around, takes down Joking. Trying to go for the spray onto Advent. Bomb will be planted. Now the four on one. Escobar takes down Kaze. And Advent can't get the kill. That's gonna be 13 oh. now for Tiger. Still some decent money though for Vici. They're gonna be able to buy it back up into this. That was a, a really peculiar push out of nine, and he gets very lucky to escape around that corner in time. How many times are we gonna see Advent in a 1vx? And yeah, I guarantee once he realized he was in a 1v4, he said, "Oh man." In the words of Jason. Thirteen six. I'm gonna say it's. We won hell of a series for Tiger, man. Man. Losing out Nuke was pretty close. They brought it to OT. They could have could have been 2-0 already. And everybody here was calling either 2-1 or 2-0 to Vinci. And yet here we are coming into the final map. Giving the last stages of the final map. Oh, good name. With Vinci looking down and out. With the damage done to Almond by that nade. He's down to 39 HP. He basically just caught the nade in his pocket. Should be able to throw it back. And VGR looking to move towards the B site. Mollies are down, but they're just about to fade, and here they come rushing through. Took a lot of damage to them. What? What are you doing with a flash out? Urcast! Oh man, he's trying to hit them with it. Thought they were 1 HP. That's very odd. The bomb thrown across. They can pick that up safely. Get the plant down. Nine not getting any opportunities with the AWP to find a quick frag. And the retake with a man disadvantage for Tiger. They're not liking their odds. They haven't got money on Urca. Excuse me, on Urcast. I swear that sound you made with Urcast having that flash out. I legit thought I had a guest commentator, the Scat Man, joining me. Ski. <laughs> 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 Should have went on after, just soothed into it. But yeah, that was very hard. Like, Urkast is stood there with a flash, waiting for them to come. Here's them being hit up by the Molotov, and he's like, wait, wait. wait yeah. <laughs> they just get on the site, and he's like, wait, I'm going to get them with this. That was so odd. Another round for Vici. Obviously deserving of their 92% win rate on this map. Across 12 different maps. And again, if they keep this pace up, like there's a legitimate chance we could have them fall this back. They've already been able to take, was it three rounds in a row off the bat, or three rounds in total at the start of the half? End up losing one to Tiger. 
And then they bounce back yet again. And Tiger's economy, it's, it's been in a rough position. Kaze trying to pick up the up. He's on 11 kills. So again, being a little bit quiet for Kaze's sake, but he's still towards the top of the leaderboard for his team. And they actually have, for Tiger, 9. He's pushed up towards Car with the AWP. He's going to continue to hold this angle, so it allows NCL to rotate back towards A. I think Jam Young spots out a player. It's going to be Dobu who had a, a, a nade out in his hand. He's going to retreat back in towards Pit. It looks like they're going to be heading back towards B. I think Joakim wants to go for the peak. They get the flash on the 9. He's going to have a smoke to delay, but he needs the rotations. But for him, they're not rushing straight through. He's going to go for the shot and then the smoke. And so will rejoin him. He has his own smoke to maybe throw down. Ichi have been trying to bait out a lot of the utility, and there's 50 seconds left to go. They left Jemyeon poised up in apartments. And this is looking like it's going to be a hit. Well, we're going to move straight in towards that side for Vichy. They lose a player on the way around long, giving up control of that part. Oh, they've just seen a player as well. And towards the apartments. You know, Jen Young's here anyways with the flash going out. That blinds the site players. Alvin's able to take down Urcast and put them into a position where they can get a plant. And it's going to go down. Even with one still in towards the pit. Dobu looking for an angle. But NCL's the one moving to the site. They still have Pit under their control. They know Jam Young is in towards the apartments. Kaze holding down, but the AWP gets caught off guard. Dobu sees him through the hay bale. Sticking and it. it's all down to Jam Young. They're on the bomb and they're going to pull it off. 14 now for Tiger. They've almost broken the economy for them to, or for Vici. Jam Young. And drop over an AK. Actually going to be gifted over a Mac 10. Are they going to allow him to be super aggressive, super fast? Nine's got an AWP bought up. We get that deep smoke set in. Oh, a deep, yeah, anti molly smoke, but I think that I think that molly hit the smoke of the T's anyways. They're basically right on top of each other. Early Naden, oh, that was towards apartment, doesn't catch him. They're looking to, I think, rush out, let Jam Young be the first. The Mac 10, Dobu's here waiting. The ball's here as well. Nine's gonna be holding towards. The arch side, and Dobu, uh, Dobu's going to get the first, but again, quickly tread it out on. Joken tries to get out, but Nine's going to be there with Cabal, and Cabal gets two more kills. That might have just been the game here, Mitch. Kaze left alone against four. Bomb, it's in towards sight. And NCL's going to get the spray on through. Money's not there anymore for Vici, and Tiger might have finally been able to close this out and secure themselves a spot into the playoffs. And also do what... Very few teams are able to do against Vici on Inferno and, and take the map against them. Uh, doing something that Tyloo, the team that consistently beat Vici in every single BO3, BO5 they play, three out of four times they've lost to Vici on Inferno, and yet Tiger come in absolutely swinging. They are not going easy on this T side, that is for sure. Dobu down on mid gets two. That's a great start. Nine shutting down one and another to leave Kaze to 1v4 clutch yet again. But this time he's only got a UMP. The bomb is in his hands. He's picked up a Galil and his chances have increased by about 0.1%. They're now at 0.2%. I think this is pretty much it. I mean, the, cha the mistakes that have to be made by Tiger are huge and they definitely don't start with Urkast shooting him in the back. Yeah, 16-7. Tiger have closed it out. More importantly, that should be them guaranteed through into the playoffs. And they can mm -hmm. breathe a sigh of relief because they've had some really questionable results.